Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to the review on the recently released St. Paddy's Day objectives card, Aaron Conley. We're going through the card as Zito Sats clips and summary, as well as the grind you guys have to go through to get your hands on him. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below if you're going to be doing this card. Without further ado, let's get into the review. So, guys, this is the team that I used Aaron Connolly in, it, and I played him in the 4-2-1 at the spearhead of that 4-2-3-1 um, at striker position. Of course, I did have to change from this 4-3-3 in-game, but just had to do that so that everyone I was testing out could fit into this team. And overall, guys, I think this card is okay. Um, I think he's the second best of the three cards that have been released. I don't think he's the best. I do think that Jeff Hendrick is the best card. However, this is still a usable card um, for you guys who need free cards or want to do free cards as opposed to having to go out and buy really expensive strikers. Um, this card will do an okay job for you. Without further ado, though, let's get into the review. Aaron Connolly, 5'8", medium low work rates, right foot to 3 special moves and 3 star weak foot. Now, overall, guys, I feel like the weak foot did let him down a lot, as much as well as some stats. We'll get into that shortly. Uh, and the skill moves could be better as well. He did feel a little more clunky than I would have expected, given some of his stats too. 7 games played, 3 goals scored and 1 assist. So not a great return, guys, and I feel like this card really did struggle in Division 2. Um, maybe in the lower divisions, he wouldn't have struggled so much, but for me, he really did struggle in terms of being able to take on those center backs and create some sort of chances for himself in terms of chemistry style guys i tried the hunter the hawk and the engine on him i do feel like of the three of them actually i had the most success with the hunter um, however i do think that there's a place for boosting his dribbling as well uh, with regards to this card in terms of the key pros of this card guys now his agility is pretty decent at 90, attack positioning is good, shot power is very good as well. In terms of the cons though guys, there is something about his dribbling and I think it may be down to the dribbling uh, stat, the ball control or the reactions, all of them combined, make him feel a little bit clunky in terms of when he's turning in tight spaces and moving with the ball. In terms of when he's just moving between gaps, his agility and balance is very good, so he's actually very good for moving in tight spaces, uh, in straight lines almost or with minimal movement. But when it comes to actually doing tight space turning and stuff like that, this card does struggle a little bit in that regard the other thing that's really bad about this card guys and it really affected me scoring chances with him is that 80 composure and um, he really does struggle in terms of just putting those chances away and getting the shots on target even as well you'll see that in some of the clips that we go through getting into the player traits guys he doesn't have any traits to speak home of so without further ado we're going to get into what the grand requirements are for you guys to get your hands on him so guys as part of the st paddy's day promo you have uh to complete these games in the managerial masterpiece to be able to unlock Aaron Connolly. Now the thing you have to do to get him is actually complete all of the objectives and in doing so you will unlock uh, the other two players. We will do those reviews separately. So to get Aaron Connolly what you have to do is score 10 goals uh, with Republic of Ireland players in the managerial masterpiece with at least four uh, Republic of Ireland players in your squad. Now that can be in one game or two games uh, or however many games you need to get it done in. Uh, it doesn't need to be split out over any of the games. Uh, assist six goals with three balls whilst using four Republic of Ireland players in the managerial masterpiece. Play 14 matches um, in the managerial masterpiece with at least four Republic of Ireland players and win eight matches with at least four Republic of Ireland players. So if you do all of those objectives, you will of course unlock uh, Jeff Hendrick and Daryl Horgan as well, but you will more importantly get your hands on this Aaron Connolly. Overall guys, the objectives are okay. The only one that is actually a bit of a drag is the play the 14 matches, which is also the one coincidentally to get Jeff Hendrick, uh, which I believe is the best card of the three. But otherwise guys, I feel like these are pretty easy to do. Even the eight wins is fairly easy to do. People seem to be doing the one goal rule as well. So it's fairly easy to bash through those games as well. Um, and that's it for the requirements guys. So without further ado, we're going into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, getting into some of Aaron Connolly's clips and what you guys are gonna see here is his general striker play. Um, now the first thing I wanna get into guys, and there aren't many clips of Aaron Connolly because I did really struggle with this card in Division 2. I do not think he is the best card of the three. I do think Jeff Hendrick is a lot better of a card than this card here. I don't think any of them are particularly good, especially for the higher divisions, but as far as the usability of the three are concerned, Hendrick definitely ranks above Connolly and Horgan. Now, the first thing I want to get into with this Connolly card is his uh, composure, and that is the, one of the biggest factors of this card, is that this card really does lack in composure, uh, and his ability to finish is severely compromised by that factor, and so therefore, I really don't see this striker as a usable card on a regular basis. Um, for me, guys, unless you really are just a fan of this card, I wouldn't recommend using it uh, for that sole reason, because he really did struggle in terms of finishing department for me. Now, the other thing I want to mention, guys, is his dribbling. Although his agility and balance are fantastic, what he really does struggle with um, is his movement in general in those tight spaces, moving between those tight spaces and getting those opportunities and, and making himself available for them. 
Um, he really did struggle in terms of just moving with the ball because of his maybe his low ball control dribbling and reactions, which all in turn could uh, cause a problem uh, for this card in terms of just being able to create opportunities for himself as well. I felt like I couldn't just take the ball past defenders. I had to be very careful with this card and how I was playing very considered as well, which is sometimes good. But in this case, it was a big con because this card is already held back by the fact he's a lower rated player than what the current level is. So you need them to have some sort of advantage in terms of being able to take people on or being able to do things on the ball or with the ball that other players can't do. Jeff Hendrick, for example, has the size. This card really didn't have a lot going for it extra that you could use, like say that Armstrong card did that came out a couple of weeks ago. So for that reason, guys, I also, again, really struggled with this card. Please don't misunderstand me, guys. I do think this card does have its place in terms of being a usable striker. I just feel like he struggled too much for me to be usable in the higher divisions, which, of course, is where you'll be considering this card for. Or maybe if it's the lower divisions, I think you still would struggle there. We're going to see some of the finishes now, guys, where he picked up the first one there, lovely finesse goal there, and they have to be very easy finishes for him to stick them away. This one here, another lovely easy finish off the volley there, good attack positioning. And in this final one here, guys, uh, the right winger driving down here, getting the ball into the box. He gets it himself in a good position here, picks up the deflection and smashes it in. So guys, getting into this final Aaron Connolly summary. Now we're gonna go through too much on this card in terms of comparison. We're just gonna go through the stats, the similarities and the linkability and then the recommendation. In terms of stats though, guys, you guys can see Positioning and finishing pretty decent, shot power pretty good as well. However, one thing that holds this card back a lot is that composure. His dribbling does feel a little stiff as well, so I'm wondering if an engine would be the best way to go for him. I think the reactions needs to be the one that needs to be boosted though, so maybe a maestro is the way to go with this card. Honestly guys, let me know what you think as well. I'd love to hear what you guys think about what would be the best way to improve these cards as well. But I do feel like this card needs a little bit of help. Maybe that would be the best way to go about it. In terms of similar players, guys, uh, I haven't really used a player that's very similar to this card. Um, I don't think I, I could really recommend which card would be similar to this card. Maybe uh, Luis Muriel would be quite similar to this card in terms of how he plays. But of course, Muriel a lot quicker than this card in terms of just straight line speed. And this card is a little bit slower than that card, but very similar in terms of play style. In terms of linkability, guys, you've got the perfect link to Malumbi. But if you've got strong links, you've of course got links to that recently released Doherty. Uh, Hendrick, of course. Roy Keane is in there, as well as all the... Um, Brighton players and Irish Republic of Ireland players across the league as well. So not bad linkability, which brings me to my final recommendation, guys. Of course, it doesn't cost you anything to do this card. However, I wouldn't recommend going for this card as a result of going for what I believe is the one card you should go for if you are going to do these uh, objectives, which is Jeff Hendrick. Um, you may get this card because to get Jeff Hendrick, you have to play 14 matches and, and it's unlikely you won't get the 10 goals, 6 assists and maybe 8 wins as well. You may not get the 8 wins in 14 matches, but you may well get a card, this card as a result of going for Jeff Hendrick. So, um, but I wouldn't be going out of my way, guys, to go and get this card. I just don't think he's worth it unless you are going to use him for fodder. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you all in a bit.